It's now 2021. It's a new year, new possibilities, and new generation of consoles, right? Well, I mean, that is if you can get your hands on one. Scalping has become a major issue of next-gen consoles. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have become basically collector's items at this point. Scalpers have hurt the sales of next-gen consoles to legitimate consumers so badly that the future of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X is now in serious question. For more info on scalping and how it's affecting the future of the next generation of consoles, pop a seat in the couch. My name's Ray, and I'll be your guide today. First things first, if you go on to find any entertainment value or valuable information from this video, please consider leaving a like and also join us on the couch. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon for more on gaming news, reviews, let's plays, and guides. So it's no secret that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are probably the most hyped consoles of all time. Both consoles brag some pretty powerful specs that could even challenge a lot of people's gaming PCs. Alright, alright, hold on. Maybe not your PC, but a lot of people's gaming PCs. They're offering new gaming experience that console gamers honestly haven't experienced. Anything over 30 frames per second, ray tracing, higher 4K quality graphics. Like this is stuff that players just really haven't experienced on the console side. Getting to have a small taste of that PC Master Race lifestyle. So it goes without saying that these consoles were highly anticipated by console gamers. Especially after a year that has been filled with just tragedy and just all around craziness, people were really looking forward to getting their hands on something to really just take their minds off of these crazy times. But what often happens when people are desperate to get an escape, there's always someone willing to take advantage. And now we have scalpers. Scalpers aren't anything new. They've been around for, well, ever. You have scalpers who will buy all of concert tickets and then resell them at heightened prices. They'll be anywhere from, as I just said, concert tickets to shoes or t-shirts or just honestly anything of value scalpers are opportunistic people who will see that there's something that a lot of people want and if they're short stock in it they'll buy it up as much as they can and then sell it at heightened prices well after the global pandemic started manufacturing of consoles just became shortened so you have a perfect storm where you have the playstation 5 and xbox series x which really didn't make as many or weren't able to make as many as they probably would have been without a global pandemic to work with. So you already have a smaller stock of consoles being produced and shipped. And well, these, these scalpers are able to buy up product in the millions at a time. And this is an article coming from corporate Walmart uh, titled, Doing our part to ensure customers, not Grinch bots, can buy this season's hottest items. This is coming back from right before Christmas of 2020, but it's still relevant to today's news. The article goes on to read, The holidays are upon us and customers are shopping online more than ever before. Our merchandising operations and tech teams are all focused on giving customers every opportunity to get the hottest gifts they want this season, including the latest PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Increase online shopping due to COVID and the seven-year release cycles of these next-gen consoles have created levels and patterns of traffic on our site and our apps we've previously never seen. But this year, some of the additional traffic has come from Grinch bots. Okay, I'm gonna start right there. When he's talking about Grinch bots, uh, when I said that scalpers can buy consoles in the millions, it's due to bots. They're just these automated programs that can just purchase an item 10 times faster than your normal guy can. So by the time you are clicking on, like let's say the PlayStation 5 and you get it in your shopping cart, then you go to checkout, it's already been bought. Like you, you just can't do it. You have to basically sit and hover over the PlayStation 5 icon until it's restocked at that time and then click. So. You kind of got to like almost dedicate a job's worth of dedication to getting one of these. But just clarification what they meant by Grinch bots. Continuing on with the article, it goes on, uh, has come from Grinch bots. 
who like the original Grinch are trying to steal these would-be presents that traffic that we simply don't want. Bots are programs written to quickly complete transaction. Okay, so this is just it going on to read bots and explain to you what I just did. And again, I'll have all the articles and sources in the description if you want to read this on your own. But I'm going to skip ahead to this part, which I find to be very troubling, if not interesting at the very least. It reads, Bot scripts are constantly evolving and being rewritten, so we've built, deployed, and are continuously updating our own bot detection tools, allowing us to successfully block the vast majority of bots we see. And the steps we've taken are working as intended. One bot preventative action we implemented just hours before the PlayStation 5 event on November 25th blocked more than 20 million bot attempts within 30 minutes alone! Holy shit, 30, 20 million in 30 minutes. And this was on November 25th. This is after like scalpers have still made off with crazy numbers. So even if a small percentage of scalper, like it, it's, it blows my mind. The like, scalpers are playing no games about this and it's just caused a deficit on actual players who've been able to actually get a hold of these consoles, the people who have 10, 15, 20 PlayStation 5s, Xbox Series X is just gathering dust in their attic, who they're taking this $500, $400 console and trying to resell it as high as thousands of dollars online. And Sony and Microsoft have been very slow to react because, you know, they got their money and why would you care if you already got your money, if it's from a real person or not? Well, it seems like not being more active on stopping bots or at least stopping the sales of scalpers taking their products and hiking up the prices on sites like eBay, you're more or less empowering this type of behavior to go on and I, I do feel like not enough people are uh, holding Sony and Microsoft more responsible for their kind of part in all of this and well now it's definitely coming back to bite them in the ass. Reading an article from Screen Rant, PS5 scalpers could be to blame for low game sales. Scalpers are hoarding too many PS5s which is tanking game sales and poisoning the console's future prospects. And well, yeah, that, that's to be believed. If there are more bots buying PlayStation 5s than people, then they're just being bought to resell at higher prices, not to be played. So now, yeah, you got the money on the initial sale of the console, but the thing that really makes the console valuable to you, which is like your online sales through the PlayStation Store or the Microsoft Store, you're not going to be making that money because, well, the scalpers are probably, if they do keep any of the consoles, they're only going to keep one, if maybe two, but more than likely just one, and they're holding the others as product to sale. So you have a lot of PS5s and Xbox Series Xs that are just being held and all of those games that could be getting bought on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox aren't. So this has definitely come back to bite them in the ass. The article goes on to read, Recent reports suggest that aggressive scalpers are hobbling game sales for the PlayStation 5. Sony's new console hit shelves last month and it's been in ludicrously high demand ever since. People are so desperate to get their hands on the new machine that one Amazon driver was even caught stealing a PS5 out of his own delivery truck, depriving a woman who bought the console as a birthday gift for her son. Fuck, dude. That is... That is... <laughs> oh, it's not funny. That is fucked up. Like, people are going crazy over these consoles and... That just is a really good highlight as to how desperate people are for these consoles and how high demand they are. The article goes on to explain about the lack of supply and how bots work, but this is the part I, I think that you guys really should read and it gets juicy. And it goes on to read, thanks to scalpers, any retail site that stocks the console sells out in seconds. As awful as this practice is, it's proven disappointingly effective Data shows that scalpers have made $60 million in profit since the release of both the PlayStation 5 and its competitor, Xbox Series X. Like, to let it sit so long that people would make up to $60 million off your, pro your product, that's, that's crazy. 
And well, it, it gets a little serious here. So the article continues to read, this is enough to keep the console out of hot water though. Bloomberg has been doing its research and it believes that scalpers are having a serious impact on the development of the PlayStation 5 by tanking game sales. There are too many consoles that aren't playing games because they're still gathering dust in scalpers' garages. So while the sales numbers for the consoles themselves are extremely high, game sales are critically low, roughly a third of what the console is selling. This denies developers the funds and resources necessary to develop more titles for the new console, which will sicken the PlayStation 5's long-term development. This is not to say that customers should be rushing to buy from scalpers, of course. On top of the moral reasons not to support scalpers, there is the risk of getting scammed and receiving a printed photo instead of the co- Dog, we would have to fight. Like, dead ass. if I paid, like, two grand for a PlayStation 5, which I would never do. But if I did pay two grand for a PS5, and then I just got a picture of a PS5 instead, it would become my life's mission to hunt down that fucker and just, like, I don't even know. That's wild. <laughs> could you could you imagine just buying a PlayStation 5 and just getting, like, a straw instead or something stupid like that? And look guys, retailers are starting to crack down on this like the Walmart article I just read to you. So it's it's not it's starting to get under control, but as the Walmart article did say that these scalpers are able to reprogram these bots and they're able to find loopholes and ways through. And 20 million uh bots blocked in 30 minutes is no small number to laugh at that's great and i'm happy walmart's being more proactive toward that but still these scalpers are making out with crazy numbers because even the small percentage of 20 million can still be in the thousands and it's not just walmart who needs to step their game up even though they have we still need amazon target and all of these other major retailers to really start bringing this home and start hammering this problem away because if they continue to fail to react in the interest of the consumer, that's when you get bigger dogs entering this fight. And that's what we see here. Another article from Video Game Chronicles reads, UK politicians call for action against PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X scalpers. A group of British MPs have called for legislation to prevent PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X uh, scalpers from reselling consoles for vast profits. Six Scottish National Party tabled an early day motion on Monday calling for legislative proposals prohibiting the resale of gaming consoles and computer components at prices greatly above manufacturers recommended retail price. And you know what? Fuck yeah! That's awesome! And I hope to see this go through. I hope to see more movement on it. But at the same time, uh, you know, I'm a little sketched out when governments start to get a little too involved with gaming because a lot of times they're really woefully misinformed on gaming. So while they may make a really good strong move in one aspect, they may hurt the community and the culture in another. But that's a topic for another time. I think this is a really positive move. And as all the other sources, this one will be in the uh, description box if you want to read the full article on your own. And I'm really happy to see that a lot more powerful entities are coming together to really lay the hammer down on scalping and bots. And I'm, we're going to be seeing coming here very shortly how much these efforts really do help the cause. As this article reads, PlayStation 5 restock expected later this week in the US, UK, and Ireland. Reportedly, Sony will restock the supply constrained PlayStation 5 in the United States, UK, and Ireland sometime later this week. Retailers in the United States, the UK, and Ireland reportedly expect to receive PlayStation 5 restocks later this week on January 7th. Oh shit, that's today! Well, shit. After I'm done making this video, I'm gonna try and purchase my own PS5. Uh, I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video if I was successful or not. Here's fingers crossed. The article goes on to read, those who have thus far missed out on purchasing a PlayStation 5 may soon be in luck. According to Twitter user PS5 Stock Central, 
Stocks should become available this week in the United States, the UK, and Ireland. A subsequent tweet from the account claims retailers in the aforementioned regions are expecting to receive stock by January 7th. If the restock fails to arrive at stated time, another week could pass before shipments are in. So it seems more or less this is hearsay, but hey, today's the golden day, so hopefully a lot of us are making some pretty proud purchases, or maybe we're still going to be left in the dark, unable to play Demon Souls Remastered. <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep my head up and try to purchase. This has been fairly disappointing because I, I had been saving up knowing that the PS5 and the Xbox Series X were going to release. And I was not one of the lucky few to be able to purchase it. Well, I want to know, have any of you been successful in purchasing? What are your thoughts on scalping and bots? Do you think that government should get involved in gaming? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if any of you found this video interesting or informative, please go ahead and leave us a like. And if you want to join us on the couch, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for everything on gaming news, reviews, let's plays, and guides. My name is Ray, and you've all been awesome. I'm out.